Got a nice letter here from Sheena. And a very good question. Sheena says when she's looking into a spoon and holding it with the bulgy side pointing out, she sees herself the right way up, the way I am now. But if she turns it round and looks onto the inner side, she finds herself upside down. She wants to know why that should be. Well, it really is a very good question. And imagine that I'm Sheena standing here. I'm giving off light rays in all sorts of directions, and over there is a gigantic spoon. In fact, it's a cylinder with a bulgy part towards me. So this is like Sheena looking into the outer side of the spoon. Well, let's say this ball is a light ray. And it's going towards the spoon. If it hits the middle, it's going to come straight back to me. Like that. And if it hits the top, it's going to fly into the air. Like that. And if it hits the bottom, it's going to go down to the ground. Well, that's very much what happens in the spoon. And if you look at this little diagram, you can see there's Sheena standing there. And the light rays are coming off from her. And they're running parallel towards the spoon. Well, they get there, rather like the balls that I threw. But once they're there, they bounce. And the top ones bounce upward like my ball, the bottom ones bounce downward, and in fact, all of them go flying out in all directions, and we get a picture of Sheena like this, larger than real life. Well, that's what happens on the outer side of the spoon. What about the inner side? It's a bit like turning the cylinder inside out, and this is what happens. There's Sheena standing there in the same way, and the light rays come away from her and hit the inside of the spoon. But in this case, the top ones bounce downwards, and the bottom ones bounce up, and they cross in the middle. So what you get is an inverted picture of Sheena. Feet at the top and head at the bottom. And that's what happens when she looks on the inside of the spoon. Well, it works for Sheena. Try it at breakfast, see if it works for you. I want to know. Curiosity.